Good morning, food friends. Welcome. It's Kevin. That's him. I'm Ralph behind the camera. And here we are. And you know what? It is a wonderful Saturday morning in June. The sun's coming out after a little rain we had last night. And Ralph and I are going up to um, the tip of the thumb to a little town called Port Austin for a great event today called Detroit Up North. Um, I don't know. There's like more than a hundred, I think, people who uh, from Detroit who made the pilgrimage to Port Austin. And we're in Lexington, which is halfway between Port Austin and Detroit. We're going to make the next 75 miles of it today, and there's going to be a potluck. And in honor of Detroit Up North, we're listening to a classic uh, radio station's oh. recordings on a record album called CKLW Solid Gold. The Big Eight, AM 800, CKLW, a station a lot of us grew up with. Um, so what are we making today, Well, Kev? we're bringing something to, some things to take to the uh, potluck. Of course, Ralph made his world-famous, wonderful salsa. Uh, and I'm making a salad, a Greek orzo salad. Um, it's a good summer salad. It is a good summer salad, and here's why. You know what? Unlike macaroni salad or potato salad or some of these other salads, this is not a mayonnaise-based salad, so you don't have to worry so much about it being out for an extended period of time and keeping it cold. And making everybody sick. Exactly, <laughs> which we definitely don't want to do. So, anyways, we're going to make this Greek orzo salad, and of course, you got to start with orzo. So I've got a one-pound box here. Let me bring the water up to a boil. What exactly is orzo? Orzo is basically rice-shaped yeah. pasta. Oh. Okay. Um, let me put a little salt in here. We like to put a little salt in when we when we make our pastas. So we're going to have this kind of cooked al dente. It won't take too long, maybe about eight minutes or so. Pull up a spoonful so folks can see yeah, here. what orzo really looks like. Oh, okay. Now, of course, it expands once it cooks, um, but it is. It's, it's, it's pasta just like spaghetti or anything else, except when it goes through the press, it's just pushed out in these little pieces like rice, okay? So here's what else. We're going to cook the pasta. What else is going in? Pine nuts. I've Toasted. A, these are raw, right. and I've got a third of a cup. But you're going to toast them up Let's put these on the stove, and we're going to toast these up nice, because when these toast, the oils come out, the flavor comes out. It has a wonderful, wonderful taste. And um, that would be like on a low flame? Well, actually about a medium. Medium, okay. Okay, because we want them toasted. So what else goes in this wonderful summer salad? I've got... Um, this is a cup and a half of frozen peas just right out of the bag. What I'm going to do is we're going to put a little, a little saran or saran wrap. Oh, yeah. We're just going to microwave the peas for, oh, about three minutes or so. Okay. Those and go into the salad, and those are frozen, uh, not, right. not from a can. Not from a can, because canned ones are just mush. So you want the frozen peas a couple minutes in the microwave, they're going to thaw out. They're going to be nice, bright green. What else we've got? We've got Kalamata olives, which are a Greek olive. These are without pits. I'm going to chop these up. I've got about eh, 15, 16. And they have a nice brine and a nice distinct flavor. Yeah, saltiness. I've got four ounces of crumbled feta cheese, which of course is Greek cheese. And then here I've got about, oh, a half a cup or so of chopped celery leaves from the very top of a celery. Now you could also use parsley. Parsley is wonderful in here too if you wanted to. If you didn't have celery, um, either or. And I've done it both ways and they're equally as good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wait for this pasta to cook. We're going to get our pine nuts, nuts toasted. nice and toasty. We got the peas in the microwave. The salad comes together real easy and it's great to bring to a summer cookout or picnic or potluck like we're doing. It's Detroit up north June 9th, 2012 and we're looking forward to it. Summer salad, Greek style coming your way. Okay, be right back. Okay, I just shut the water off. On the yours though. <laughs> yeah, which cooks really fast. I mean, it's small. Compared so, to most pasta. Yeah, and it's, uh, you know, al dente, which is what you want. We're just going to drain this. So we get our, 
get all of our and pasta here. You can here. use a spatula to get I'm all the rest sure out. I am. So we want every little piece and then, out of here. Then we're gonna now we're gonna rinse it. Oh, I love this song. His name was Oliver, and it was from um, here. Is that where this is from? Yeah. It's on Good Morning Starshine. If folks can hear it in the background from our CKLW Solid Gold collection we're yeah, listening to in game. the background so Detroit okay now I'm just rinsing with cold water because one I want the pasta to stop cooking so we're gonna bring kind of cool it down here and then I'm gonna leave it in the sink because we want it to drain as much as possible it also takes the starch off doesn't it it does yeah and you know there are times when you want to leave starch on pasta um, with certain kinds of sauces and things like that. Mm -hmm. In the case of this salad, we don't want to no. do that. So, okay. So we're good right there. I'm going to let that drain, and then we're going to come back and start putting our different ingredients. Our pine nuts are done. Look how these... Aren't those beautiful? And they, and they have such a great oh, smell. The whole kitchen has this wonderful nutty smell. Our peas have cooked in the microwave, and... Now, all I really have to do is take our olives here. Again, these are those kalamatas, and I'm just going to give them a nice chop. A nice chop. So I'm going to finish doing this, and then we'll have all of our ingredients pretty much ready to go for our Greek orzo salad that we're taking to Detroit up north today. Our big fun event on this uh, June Saturday. I did want to mention also, since we mentioned Oliver and the music in the background, the song that we heard before this was uh, a Detroit group, yeah. Tea Garden and Van Winkle doing God Love Rock and Roll. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. All right. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so we're going to make our dressing first. And when I do a salad like this, how what I like to do is build the dressing in the bottom of the bowl. And so that it's already in there. And then put the ingredients in and bring the stuff together. So we're going to make kind of a little vinaigrette dressing, and I'm going to start with my little shot glass here. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, okay? So we're going to put that in there, so we got our vinegar. Then we're going to take three tablespoons of olive oil. That's a handy cup to have. It is. And, okay. So three vinegar or three olive oil to two vinegar to two vinegar then we're going to put in our seasoning so just um, a little salt like maybe a half a tablespoon a few pinches look how pretty those colors are and then some fresh ground pepper and then just a pinch of sugar a sprinkle yeah then I'm gonna whisk this together and that creates an emulsion. In the background, See how we're hearing it's thickening. I love this. The George Baker selection, who are Greek, and we're making a Greek orzo, orzo salad. salad. This song, uh, "Little Green Bag," was popularized. Uh, well, I remember it as a kid on CKLW, but then it got popular again when uh, Quentin Tarantino's movie *Reservoir Dogs* came out. So here's our dressing. It's a great song. Just take so reminiscent take of the you back. time. You probably were just a I little. I was just a little kid, a little but I just around in your nappies. <laughs> I do remember. There's a little olive oil left in this. Okay, so we've got all that now, and it blends and creates like almost like a creamy um, emulsion, like you said. So that's kind of neat. Um, now we're gonna put our orzo in on top of that, and you know what? This is all about kind of having a salad that is not drenched in dressing but just lightly dressed um, you know and that's what I like I don't want to you, you don't want the dressing to overpower all these other great flavors that we're putting in the salad so that's that's the um, pound of cooked pasta going in or so and, mm -hmm. and as you said you have a lot of interesting complex flavors happening in the salad that you don't want to overpower them so so what we're gonna do first is sort of mix it up yeah we're gonna get all this wonderful beautiful orzo coated you see how it's getting shiny mm -hmm. with our dressing so that'll just be a light coat now what we can do 
is once this is all coated, we're going to start putting in our other ingredients. So let's get our beautiful pine nuts. Hello, beautiful. Okay, so pine nuts are in, and here's our peas. The peas have a nice smell and flavor yeah, too. Yeah, they do. Going, mixing well with the. Uh, Pine nuts. Oh, and now the Kal Kalamata olives, olives, the Greek olives. In they go. You said there was about uh, six, 15, 16 of those yeah. chopped up. Mm -hmm. So you mix those. Look at and then look how nice those colors are. Let's put our celery leaves, which give it, you know, celery just has this wonderful, distinct flavor. And a sweetness almost. Yeah. And a little bit of a crunch because there's a little bit of stalk in there, just whatever is kind of hanging at the top. So what I first do is let's mix all this together. Isn't it? It's a beautiful mix I of think, colors. Mm -hmm, salad. So good for the summer. Brings out those nice green colors of the season. And this will also kind of give a little coating of dressing to these other ingredients that we've put in. The kind of unifies nuts, them all. Yeah. And then I always put the cheese in last. So now we have that. Beautiful. And then we have our four ounces of feta cheese which a lot of times that's how it's sold by by that weight so that's already pre-measured for you folks and again you could use parsley ch fresh chopped parsley in here if you didn't have the celery and Ralph you had mentioned that the feta cheese is nice because it not only brings a different texture but also a saltiness yeah to the salad there how beautiful is that very so this is what we're taking to Detroit up north, up in beautiful Port Austin, Michigan. We're taking this Greek orzo, orzo salad, salad, and Ralph's taking his famous, wonderful salsa, which you now call es Esperanza. Esperanza salsa, named after my mama Sita. Your sweet mom. But yeah, it's uh, uh, large quantities of homemade salsa coming up to Detroit up north in Port Austin. Kevin's got mega amounts of... Uh, this wonderful Greek orzo salad and it's going to be a hit because other people are bringing really interesting and great food as well. So there it is. Should we take a taste? Take a taste. See how it came out. Oh, good stuff. Mm. Oh, you, oh. How about the cameraman? You're out there. <laughs> Here it comes. Mm. You like? Wow, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways. Port Austin, we'll see you in a few hours. Everybody else, thanks for being a part of this one. Have a great summer weekend, and we'll see you next time. Can't wait to see you next time. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye-bye.